I tell you, it doesn't get much cuter than this. This is a Fanaloka and one of the newest babies here at the Nashville Zoo. Dr. Heather Swartz is gonna tell us more about a Fanaloka and particularly this little guy. Yeah, so this is very uh, rare for us. It's a first for Nashville Zoo. This is a male Fanaloka uh, pup. He is one month old this Friday and he was born here. His parents are still here, they're in the back. And this little guy will get to be about um, two to four pounds, that's it. They don't get very big, very cat-like little animals. And they're actually from Madagascar. So he is called a spotted Fanaloka? Yes, or, a, well, or a, um, they're known for, as a civet as well, oh, but they're actually not civets. They're actually related to fossa. And he's nocturnal, so this is yes. early for him. This is early for him, <laughs> but he does wake up about um, for four feedings a day, and then he does like to cruise around at night. But he's just now getting big enough where he's starting to play, and actually today is going to be his first real adult food oh. offering. So we'll see how he does. I don't know how that's going to go. Is this his little toy? Yes, yeah, so I was going to see what he would do with it. He's just starting to kind of pay attention to things and track around. Yeah, you all have not named him yet. We have not, he's a little boy, but generally we let um, the carnivore team or um, you know, the keepers, we all typically vote. So we just, okay. I'm sure there's lots of ideas floating around out there. I sure have my own, but um, we'll see what everyone comes to. Well, I tell you, he's just the cutest little thing I think I've ever seen. Ah, uh, look at this newbie. Oh hug. my God. So this is another new baby born here at Nashville Zoo. Uh, this is a king vulture. And Lauren Cuttington is his avian keeper. and. What a cute little animal. He is. He is like, look at his little wings. <laughs> so tell me a little bit more about this little guy or girl. <laughs> yeah. This looks like it's wearing a little fur coat. It does. These are down feathers. So these feathers will molt. So it's like shedding for fur. Whenever he is about four years old, he will color out to be like his parents and be all colored out on the head, having blue, purple, pink, yellow, orange. 579 grams today at 18 days old. So where does this uh, particular species typically found? South America. So they are great for, you know, all the roadside assistance when it comes to, you know, the carcasses yes. on, the, on the side of the road. So they help from any disease spreading um, and then just the cleanup crew. Well, they can fledge around three to four months. Okay, okay. So, Alrighty. yeah, this, Fantastic. this cutie will be already mobile. He's already trying to grip with these massive feet. <laughs> So will he grow more little fur underneath there where it's a little bit bare right oh, now? No, actually, so that is a very important piece of him. So that's called a crop. A crop is part of the di digestive system and once he eats, that fills up and then it'll follow through the GI tract and then he's ready for more. The, the males can reach about 10 pounds and females um, about seven to eight pounds. Oh, we're gonna do weightlifting here. Oh, <laughs> I can see that. Well, I tell you, these are the cutest little babies here at the Nashville Zoo. This has been so much fun. I thank Dr. Heather Swartz and Lauren, thank you so much for showing oh, us these welcome. adorable little babies.